Today, I look like a Christmas elf and I love everything about it. I've got my elf jumper on, I've got my Santa hat on, I've got my gift tag earrings in. I'm fully embracing the festive season. But anyway, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday, it's the 16th of December and today I'm gonna film a baking video. Today's the first day this week that I've been able to film a video because we've had decorators in and everything. Would you like to see a little house update? I think you would, it's quite exciting. So we're a little bit like half and half with the process of where we are so this wall over here is yet to be plastered but the wall through there has been plastered this wall has been plastered and painted so this is the color that we're going for upstairs and downstairs and very exciting we have the first part of our banisters in so this is like obviously it's covered right now because of painting and stuff this is the metal work that goes in the banisters and then there's going to be a panel of glass here i think tomorrow we're going to go and get new light switches and new plug sockets but yeah this is the general color that we're going for and we're going to have like a beigey kind of carpet I think we're not too sure yet the carpet man is coming on Monday with his samples and then Tuesday the glass is being fitted to the banister which I'm very excited about also the ceiling has been painted obviously we haven't got a lampshade yet and the ceiling all down there has been painted that wall at the end is painted but obviously like I said this one's not plastered yet up here we also have a temporary ceiling because this actually was just like a normal ceiling but we do have a loft up there we also have a loft up here see I really like this colour like from this way it looks pretty finished obviously this carpet is going there are the stairs and then there's a little step up this way this is where that chunk of wall came out so we've got this extra space now and this step has been rebuilt but if you come this way on this side of the house we have another loft but there was never a loft hatch so we couldn't get into it so we've had one built and we've had this ceiling like reconstructed and then downstairs we also have the metal work in and we're waiting for the glass on Tuesday this needs plastering still and this this wall but this wall and this wall are painted and pretty much finished and over by the front door is all painted this light switch is being changed to the same ones in our lounge so it will look like this this table is going to be going we just have it for right now for the lamp because obviously We've got no light in our ceiling at the minute and the radiator is going to be resprayed so it's like a whiter bright and the grills are going to be sprayed silver to match this pole i think that's everything i think you're up to date now right let's go back upstairs because my feet are cold but anyway i'm now all ready to film i've got my ingredients did i say it's a baking video i'm not sure i'm very excited about this one so i'm gonna head downstairs and get baking right guys so i've just finished filming my baking video now i'm very ready ready to have a cup of tea and tonight we're actually going to I think my dad's cousins for dinner and we like never ever see them the last time we saw them was at a wedding I can't remember when it was it was literally when I was about 14 13 or 14 so we haven't seen them like properly and had a chat for so long so we're heading there tonight for dinner we're gonna have a takeaway at their house I'm pretty much ready to go it's only just gone four o'clock and we haven't got to be at theirs till six I want to try and fit in the last episode of Bancroft because me and my mum have been watching Bancroft and we only have the last episode left to watch if you haven't watched it I would seriously recommend it's on ITV so it'll be on ITV player now it's the first series there's only four episodes but it's like a thriller it's been on every night and if you're watching it let me know what you think of it we've really enjoyed it every single episode we've just got one more to watch and I want to watch the final so bad it was my dad's birthday yesterday and this is the birthday card that my best friend got him <laughs> love you Leanne she's actually hilarious I think it was faith in the police they think we hide behind our desks. Good morning everyone. Today is Sunday. I'm currently doing a face mask as you can see. If it's looking a little bit sparse, that's because it's a sample. Last week I bought some stuff from Charlotte Tilbury and you can like choose the samples that you receive of your order. So I chose to try the face mask. So far so good. It's this one. It's the Goddess Skin Clay Mask. It claims to give you baby skin. It claims to tighten your pores, which I really liked the sound of. And I decided that if I like it as much as I like my body shop ones, then I may invest in it because we all know I love a face mask but I'm glad I could try it out first I'm gonna have a proper chill day today I mean I've got a video to edit but that's about the only work that I have to do today I've got a couple of presents still to wrap some cards to write I've got to send off some presents in a post tomorrow so I'm gonna get those ready today and I think I might watch a Christmas film later who knows I got up quite late today it's 11 o'clock so I thought you know what I'm gonna have a lie-in but I've just got up which is why I probably sound so tired oh my god that face mask was amazing but in all seriousness i actually really did like that face mask because 
I really struggle with getting face masks off. The ones that you have to like scrub and submerge your face in water, not for me. This one I literally just wet a sponge and like wiped it off. It was super easy. So I did really like that. I might have a look how much it is. Okay, so it's 38 pounds. Well, it was nice to try it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I do find with Charlotte Tilbury products that they are a lot smaller than you expect them to be. Like they're quite expensive products. I don't have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury things. I have an eyeshadow palette that my boyfriend got me which he was like shocked when I opened the size of it. And I bought a Christmas present from one of my friends. I bought her a set of three lipsticks. I thought like, you know, gonna be decent sized lipsticks. I wasn't expecting full size because it was 29 pounds or something like that for the three of them. So I thought they'd probably be like half a lipstick size. They are literally about an inch big and the actual lipstick is like half an inch if that. It's absolutely ridiculous. But it's annoying because I really like Charlotte Tilbury products. They're really nice. They are just so expensive for the amount you get. I look so pale today. At the end of my last vlog, actually, I got quite a lot of questions about this pink thing. I'm not sure what it's called, but it looks like this. It's super cozy. Please excuse my bed. It's bed washing day. It's like a big hoodie slash dressing gown. I don't have anything on underneath it. I'm just having a super cozy day in my joggers, my slippers, and this little, I call it my snuggly, because I don't want to call it a hoodie. I don't want to call it a dressing gown. But it was from Tesco, and it was £18. I absolutely love it. I got it the other day because I saw that Sophie Clough got it for one of her friends on her Snapchat story. They also do it in grey, but I liked the pink one because I'm quite a girly girl. House update. We've just put the light up in the hallway. This is the hallway. We're getting new light switches. I think I said that earlier, but this is what the light looks like. It's so pretty. It's from John Lewis. It's called like the Tiffany light or something like that. Hello again, everyone. So today is Tuesday the 19th of December. We are officially getting closer to Christmas. I'm so excited about it. I didn't actually vlog yesterday because yesterday was such a busy day for me that I just didn't even have time to think about vlogging. But today I've picked up my camera again. Please excuse my hair. I've literally not even brushed it yet. I've just like put it in this low bun while I was doing my very minimal makeup. The plan for today is I'm just about to have lunch because I'm absolutely starving. Our hallway is coming along very nicely. As you saw in my last clip, I think or in like the last few days the light is now up and we also have the mirror up This is what the mirror looks like and the light up there. I love it so much. It looks so good I think I've now finished all my wrapping actually I have like one more thing to wrap but other than that I've pretty much finished my wrapping which I'm quite sad about because I love wrapping and yesterday my mum's final Christmas present arrived I'm so excited to give it to her. I've mentioned before that my mum uses my hair straighteners like every single morning She's never had her own straighteners because it's only like within the past six months or so that she's used hair straighteners. I use GHDs and she absolutely loves them. So I was contemplating getting her some GHDs of her own. And then the lovely people over at GHD actually got in contact and they said, you know what, Hannah, we'd love to send your mum a pair of hair straighteners, which literally nearly made me cry because that's such a nice Christmas thing to do. Talk about festive spirit. I was literally about to check out on the website and then they said that they wanted to gift them to me. So I'm so excited for her to open them. The ones they have sent me are these ones. Her favourite colour is purple. So I I know she's gonna absolutely love them. It was just such a nice offer for them to make. So to the team over at GHD, thank you so much for sending those over. I'm so excited for her to get them. She's honestly gonna be shocked. Like she's not gonna believe it. They are wrapped. They are in this little box. I love that she like sits here every night and they're right there and she has no idea. But the underneath of our tree is looking quite full now. Also, my mum thought I was like psycho for wanting to have matching wrapping paper. When she was choosing wrapping paper, I said to her, We've got to have red and white, that's it, because that's the colours of our tree. But I think it really does make a difference having them all matching. <laughs> Is anyone else like that or am I just completely mental? Please let me know. But anyway, I'm going to go and make my lunch now because, like I said, absolutely starving. I have one of my favourite Christmas jumpers on today. It is this one. It says Cotton Headed Ninny Muggins, which is obviously from Elf. And this was on my Snapchat the other day and so many people asked me where it's from. So I'll leave a link to it in the description down below in case you're interested. I love that it's just like a sweatshirt and it's not like too over the top i would wear this out like well i'd wear any christmas jumper out but especially this one i'm gonna have this pasta for lunch today because it's one of my absolute favorites and it's so easy and to be honest with you i need to get on with my filming so i've got to have something quick lunch is served looking like a gourmet meal oh i feel exhausted honestly like the tiniest thing makes me tired but i just had lunch and i watched the christmas episodes of birds of a feather because i'm actually middle-aged and i do like birds of a feather but anyway now i'm gonna get filming it's gonna take me a long time to film this video and it will be up 
up on Sunday because obviously Monday is Christmas Day and on Christmas Day I just know that I won't be able to like reply to comments and stuff like that so I'm gonna upload on Sunday instead so Sunday and then the Thursday after but anyway it's two o'clock the plasterers are coming at four o'clock so I really need to crack on because it's gonna be a near miracle if I get this video filmed in two hours so I'm gonna do that so I probably won't be vlogging for the next couple of hours so I will catch up with you when I've finished Good morning everyone. Today is Wednesday and today is my mum's birthday. Yay! Yay! Um, so we're going out for dinner tonight for that. We had a lovely morning opening all your presents, didn't we? Well, I did, yeah. So we got her a Pandora bracelet and some charms for it. But we think the Pandora bracelet is a little bit too big, so we're going to pop into Southend and see if we can just change it over just for a slightly smaller one. But first of all, I'm going to get my nails redone right now because look how much they need doing they've grown out so much my nails grow so quickly though it's so annoying these are the nails i had done for the christmas party which was literally only like a couple of weeks ago if that and they've already grown out so much then we're going to go to south end then go home i've edited a whole video this morning which i didn't think i'd get done because it's quite a long one to edit our day today is nails into south end come home i need to do a voiceover and then we're going to go out for dinner tonight with my brother and his girlfriend and for mum and dad, so we're going to a nice Chinese, but I've never been there. You have though, haven't I have, you? it's really nice. Mm. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. What's that in the back? Oh, it's a house. <laughs> another update for you so i've just finished getting my nails done i went for completely sparkly silver because it's christmas and these will last me through to new year as well so i had that in mind as well everyone in there today was getting red nails and the woman even said to me don't you want red and i was like no i want silver because i had red for christmas last year so i thought i'll get ultimate sparkles this year we're now on our way to south end to go into the pandora shop but i'm so hungry now because i haven't had lunch today and it's quarter past two so i'm gonna go and get some cheese dippers from mcdonald's because they're so nice hello again everyone i think i've only vlogged in the car today but that's all right we've just been to mcdonald's and went to marks and spencers and this is a really boring update but i've got a banana milkshake it's nearly all gone though now we're on our way home to go and do some work it's 10 to 4 now so we have to leave for dinner at about 7 I think hi guys I'm now home I fell asleep in the car so I didn't update you after I've last spoken to you I'm literally always tired at the minute it's an absolute joke but since I got home I've filmed my voiceover and edited it so that video is now compressing which I'm very happy about I was so stressed about that however that is Sunday's video tomorrow's video i've not even started editing yet which is this vlog right now but tomorrow i'm going up to leeds so i'm thinking i'm going to be able to edit it on the train hopefully oh i'm a little bit stressed i'm not gonna lie i've got so much to do it's currently 10 past six and we need to leave our house at seven i've still got a pack for tomorrow and start editing this vlog and get ready to go out the next hour is going to be a little bit busy tomorrow night tom and i are going to see nativity the musical because last year it was like our christmas thing to watch all the nativity films together and Tom absolutely loved them so we're going to see the musical this year and then on Friday we're having our own Christmas day so we're going to do Christmas presents we're going to cook a Christmas dinner and then Saturday which is the 23rd of December I'm coming home so the next few days are going to be quite hectic I need to pack that is absolutely a priority because my train is really early tomorrow morning I think I'm going to have to sacrifice getting ready to go out tonight I think I'm just gonna have to go like this but it's just my family so like whatever i opened my advent calendars earlier because i just watched gabby's vlog and she opened the lumine one and it literally looked amazing i was quite behind on it and it has a beauty blender in it i've never had a real beauty blender i always use the real techniques one so i'm very excited about having this like literally beyond excited and it's the nude color to be honest it looks like one of my dirty real techniques ones but i'm very excited to try that and then there is a whole bunch of skincare this was such a good advent calendar there's lip products nail varnishes moisturizers and such things then this was the tanya burr 12 days of christmas one so we got three nail varnishes three lip glosses two glitter eyeliners a nail file a couple of eye glitters and a mirror to be honest i opened this in a moment of frustration because the packaging was so difficult to open that i just took it out of its box as you can see it's here i just like opened the top and took it out because every single one was so difficult to get open but the products inside are really nice so i guess that makes up for it and then finally we have the body shop advent calendar which had this inside it 
So there are all these minis of shower gels, shower creams, lotions. I'm going to take this one to Leeds with me tomorrow because I've mentioned so many times that Frosted Berries is my favourite scent. And now I have a travel size which I can use at Tom's at Christmas time. I think I'm going to go and give this one to my mum right now because we both absolutely love coconut. And it's her birthday so I feel like she'd love it. I got you another present. Close your eyes. Hold your hands out. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> Do you like it? You can't read it without your glasses, it without can glasses. you? What is it? It's a coconut shower cream from the body shop. It's really nice. Oh, lovely. Thank you. That's all right. And then in here, you also got a couple of brushes. I am dying for a new one of these brushes. Like, I'm so thankful for that. There are some lip butters. There are some lip products, some eyeliners, a hand cream. This looks like an eye glitter, I think. And then you get a little British rose body butter and a full size of the almond milk and honey body butter. And then you got a mango soap. Very excited to try that. And I'm not sure what this is, to be honest. If anyone else has the advent calendar and they know what this is, please let me know. Is it a soap or is it like a bath oil or what? If you're thinking of investing in a beauty advent calendar next year, I genuinely would recommend the Body Shop one the most. I feel like you get the most value for money out of that one because some of the products are full size, like they're really good products. It was by quite a long shot my favourite one last year and it's my favourite one this year, so I would recommend the Body Shop one. The Lumine one was also really nice, but I feel like that one was quite like high end and also all the products are sample sizes, so bear that in mind. But anyway, I really need to go and pack now. My little suitcase is waiting for me. I need to get a bigger one though, like I absolutely love this. It was from River Island. I have so had my money's worth out of it. I think it was like £70 and I use it all the time. It's a really nice size, but I am quite a bit of an overpacker. So if they did this in like a slightly bigger size, that'd be great, please, at River Island, if you're watching. I've had a look on the website and I think they're all this size. I need one just a little bit bigger, but how snazzy is it? Let's fill it with stuff. Woo <laughs> also, this is what my nails look like. I'm not sure how much of a fan I am, to be honest. I don't usually go for like square nails. These were like coffin shape, but I had them so much longer so they looked better and now that they've been filed down I'm like I'm not really a fan, but whatever I've paid for them So I will stick them through Christmas and New Year. I forgot to mention I also got these in the body shop advent calendar So you've got a little shower Whatever that's called um, and this little headband which is super cute super soft and then I have no idea how I forgot to show you these I put them on my bed especially to show you that's how I forgot because I was showing you down there These things were from the River Island advent calendar I didn't know they had an advent calendar either, but they kindly sent it to me, and oh my goodness. So in here, you've got these four gorgeous pairs of earrings. These ones are my favourite. Oh my god, they're literally to die for. I don't think you can really see on camera how sparkly they are. Let me see. Oh look, here we go. Look at them. They are well nice. So you get four pairs of earrings, and then you also got these two rings. This one looks like that, very pretty, and the other one is a little like crown-shaped ring, kind of. And then there was this little bracelet with the little diamond on it, and also so this necklace and then these two like clip-on charms. I guess you could put these on whatever you want but I assumed they were for the bracelet. But I'd probably put these on my keys or something. I think they're super pretty. And then there was also this lip plumper from Barry M and also this Barry M illuminating strobe cream which I'm very excited to try. So yeah, River Island pulling it out the bag with their advent calendar. Thank you so much to all of the brands that sent me calendars this year. I honestly get so much joy out of opening them. I was just shook at this advent calendar. Oh my god, it's accessories galore. Mission accomplished. It is six minutes past seven. My suitcase is packed. I have this stuff to go in tomorrow morning. I've changed my top. That's all I've done, but don't tell anyone. I've put a little bit more powder on and I've redone my bun and I'm ready to go out for dinner. We are supposed to be leaving at 10 past and I am ready now which is a miracle and my video has uploaded for sunday i can't believe i packed my case in that time it usually takes me hours but to be fair i am only going for like one full day this is my outfit for tonight my turtleneck is from new look i like it because it's really thin but it's still like wintery and cute and then my jeans are from asos they are like super skinny black ones which i really like i'm gonna put some little black boots on from river island as well my coat is from lasula i've spoken about it in many videos and my scarf is a new purchase. This was from ASOS. It's like an ASOS Basics one. It was £14 and it's an extra long one. 
so it's like beige on this side and white on this side i usually have it on the white side but i could wrap this round twice it is honestly probably like the best purchase of this year i'll leave it linked in the description down below because i have had so much use out of it and it's so warm i am all about comfort and warmth this is a yes from me anyway let's go p.s how cute is my card from leanne because she knows i love elf <laughs> actually love her broken now <laughs> no, look. what does the tail mean independent right guys so i'm now home it is 10 to 11 i can't wait to take my contact lenses out because they hurt so bad now i need to go in the shower and wash my hair and honestly that is the last thing that i want to do right now but anyway i hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you very much for watching i'm sorry if it was a little bit boring i haven't edited it yet so i don't know like how much i filmed or what i filmed i can't even remember but whatever it is i hope you enjoyed anyway i have a very exciting well kind of exciting video coming your way on sunday instead of monday so christmas eve there will be a new video up on my channel which i'm very excited about it's the one that i've been working on for the past like two or three days but for now thanks for watching this vlog and i'll see you again in my next video on christmas eve bye